Okay, next up is Gunnar, who's going to talk about our PGP keyring and what we can learn from it. Thank you very much. Well, uh, first of all, I've been, I've been working on this, uh, on this information. Well, more or less uh, started doing it for fun because, well, as part of uh, what we did uh, in keyring maintainers, uh, led me into, into start uh, wondering how does, uh, how, how does our snapshot of reality look like. So this, this is not, uh, don't take it as something seen to, to be improving Debian, or even you can even see this as something that was made by an outsider. Yeah, not that I am uh, an outsider, but the, the view I'm taking here is, well, I'm uh, objectively looking at, at whatever information I can gather from, from the keyring and trying to explain some bits about it. Uh, the, the thing is, we start, uh, the, the work that started me going on this is what we did in DevCon 14. That, that's when we kicked off uh, what uh, be, uh, became the, the migration uh, to strictly greater than 24-bit, uh, to 1,024-bit uh, to, uh, 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 keys. Um, uh, we, uh, because, well, there were uh, security liability by then. And, um, uh, well, I, uh, I'll start showing this first uh, with the graphs we, we used then. This is a graph that, uh, that we showed uh, two, uh, two years ago, showing, well, how it was taking so long for us to migrate away from short keys. Uh, you can see several, well, of the uh, most, uh, like, uh, Responsive people did the, the switch here at first, but then the, the, the trend was very slow in going down. We were very happy that we were almost at the point of crossing. In fact, I think we, we crossed during that uh, month, uh, but the trend showed we would uh, take at least uh, three, four, five more, more years to, to do the final uh, ch uh, changes, and of course that would become flatter and flatter over time. So, well, that's uh, what, what prompted us to, to do an aggressive uh, uh, change. Uh, it was quite a lot of work for us. Uh, I mean, not that we didn't know it, but uh, uh, through, through less than half, of a year, uh, than half a year, we replaced uh, over 250 keys. And uh, we, we, we were happy with the result, I think, uh, although we did have problems in the end, because, for example, Close to one quarter of the project uh, lost access to, well, bo both uh, uploading and voting, voting rights because th they are expressed, uh, well, through having a, a valid key, right? Um, and, uh, well, 18 months, uh, no, uh, yeah, 18 months later, 200 DDs still have not uh, a, a, a transitioned to a, to, a, to a valid key, so they are effectively, effectively locked out of most of their a project uh, uh, rights, right? Uh, this is uh, how, uh, well, how the keyring uh, looks like, the, 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 the Debian developer uploading keyring. So, well, yeah, the, uh, this uh, slope was well, very abrupt. Uh, and of course, uh, we have managed to, to gain back uh, these bits that, that we had lost uh, by then. But, uh, well, this prompted me into looking at uh, this same information in different ways. Uh, this is uh, fun to get, but uh, I wanted to, to understand a bit more the, what social interactions can I get from looking at the file we have. So currently, as of, well, not today, but uh, while I, I was in the plane, we had 816 uh, valid keys for Debian developer uploading. And well, I'm focusing on, on those, of course. Uh, I mean, because they're like uh, representative. Uh, Debian maintainers are a very different case, but I'm not going into them. I'm sorry for, uh, because of uh, time constraints. I have not uh, digged into that one. And we don't uh, hold maintainers as like a source of trust. So there, it's a difference. Uh, Non-uploading, there are so, so few that I am sure that, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at them separately because we keep them in separate directories, but it would not strongly influence anything, I'm almost sure. Uh, okay, so uh, I, didn't, uh, I decided not to stop there and uh, st uh, started uh, trying to draw the, the, uh, the data set we have. So, uh, well, uh, what is the uh, as strong set uh, defined uh, related to a keyring? 
is the, the largest set of uh, keys that from each of them you can reach all the others. Yeah. There's a, like a, a looser definition that uh, I, I'm not uh, using, that's the reachable set. So if you have somebody who cannot reach back via a, a, a trust relationship, but can be reached is in a reachable set, but not in the strong set. The strong set is all connected. Uh, 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 like you can trace the trust paths between all of them. Um, the, this is the well. The first thing I I measured uh, some months ago is how much did the proportion of the strong set vary regarding to the total number of keys. I I was supposing that we would lose a lot of connectivity uh, by doing the uh, the rollover to larger keys, and of course we had some interesting jitter here. Uh, we started here with the migration and. But the lowest point we had, I mean, this, is, uh, this starts at 70. The lowest we, we had was 82% reachability. The highest is 89. And we were like at 88 and reached 89 here. We, uh, of course, here was the lowest point ever. I'm going to explain why uh, very shortly, but uh, it was uh, uh, in some way uh, expectable, right? I'm sorry for relaying IRC over here, but well. <laughs> OK, so how did I graph the rest? Well, I use graph bees. Why did I use graph bees? I, today, I realize it may not, not have been the, the greatest choice. Graph bees is a great tool for simpler diagrams, but it's not meant to, to track a, a, set of, uh, a, a set of keys that change over time. So what's here like this, it will be like that in the next one because each graph is unique and I don't uh, control or at least I haven't dug enough to to control the the algorithm that uh, positions things uh, and also when la uh, dealing with large uh, amounts of nodes and edges uh, it becomes just too slow yeah uh, in this computer for example this is a very low end uh, laptop it takes about 10 seconds to generate each uh, snapshot and I'm generating about 300 snapshots uh, when I'm doing it fully, okay? Uh, of course, the first thing I did is to graph the keyring. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's boring, it's useless. <laughs> I mean, it's just a blob. Yeah, it, it has some spikes, but I asked a friend who works in, uh, well, in psychology, sociology fields, <laughs> what do you want me to do with it? It's useless because <laughs> Uh, analyzing social graphs deals with small bits of it, small, small pieces. So I can, I mean, yeah, here I have some, say here you see some isolated, uh, some islands, some people that are not connected, where, which are not in the strong set or things like that. But this doesn't tell me anything. But this is a recent photo for, uh, for, for us, right? But the thing is, as I uh, generated a graph for each tag, uh, that means for each upload we did, for this, uh, each uh, queuing push, I found some that were like this, right? Something very strange for me. This is from before, just before we started the transition. So the transition didn't yet affect, but you can see here it's something that's splitting in half. And uh, well, it got me scratching my head. Yeah, what does this split mean? Why does it appear? Where does it come from? Why is it there? So I, uh, uh, I took several snapshots. Uh, well, this is January. Uh, I mean, uh, the top row is more or less each each year, uh, 2010, late 2010, uh, 12, 13. I'm sorry, the months are in Spanish. Uh, and here you see how it was. Well. It's hard to see maybe uh, in this resolution. It was a blob. Then by uh, early 2012, you start seeing a group separating. And by uh, 2014, it was very obvious. And this is when we started uh, actually uh, the, 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 the migration. So this group starts getting smaller and smaller. And by the end, when this is December, this is the last time we had the, the short keys. So what we effectively cut away was just a small portion. And by here, well, uh, you, uh, the, the, that group disappeared. 
So uh, I started, well, trying to understand what that was. Yeah. So I came up with an hypothesis that says something related to curing aging. Uh, the thing is, we are a long-running project, and the GPG has been, well, PGP, which uh, GPG is an implementation of OpenPGP. Uh, uh, PGP has been a constant uh, trait of the project for a very long time. Uh, not for all the project history, but say since the late 90s at least. Uh, we don't have the history for the first years, but uh, uh, the, the social interactions that happened over 10 years ago may, may be getting lost or maybe uh, falling uh, away because those people, well, it's uh, logical that are uh, having new interests and may, may not uh, remain connected, say, for some few cases. Um, um, so I tried to get uh, the, the, the graphs colored. Took me a long, a long time to get this uh, straight because my scripts were so, so, so badly written that it took six minutes to generate each, uh, each one of them. When, when uh, or something like that, when I rewrote the scripts in a much simpler way, which are ugly and uh, I don't want to show them, I will show them, at, uh, I'm sure, but uh, it took me like a hundred times less. So I, I was very happy. So I made the, uh, these uh, next graphs uh, with blue for less than one year, green one to two, yellow up to three, orange up to four, and red over four year old. And I'm graphing the edges only, the, the signatures. I'm ignoring self-signatures, and I'm ignoring the keys, because here they, they are not of much value by themselves. Right? Well, it doesn't look very nicely. It looks very different than my screen. But you can see uh, that this was the curing before the, the migration. So yes, this whole blob was a red thing. This all were very old signatures, over five year old. And here we have a lively uh, community. Today, this is, uh, well, uh, in June, we have several old, key, uh, old signatures in our living keyring, but it's all full of different colors. Uh, it's all mixed. That means, uh, I, I understand that the, that means that maybe, well, uh, my 4K key, I started using it in, in uh, 2009. And uh, many other people started by, by, the, by that year as well. So we, we got it uh, connected, and our signatures will remain in because, uh, uh, because they, well, they are between two valid keys. So I, I did the same thing we had before. And yes, the, the red blob, uh, of course, uh, the, 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 the colors are relative to the moment I took the snapshot. So if this was, well, I don't have, uh, I, I can see the dates here, but this was early 2010. The red signatures are before 2006, right? Um, and it, it does follow this uh, same pattern. We had a large body of very old signatures that were slowly being uh, like uh, pushed away by people retiring or by people slowly migrating to New York Keys. So uh, this is more or less, this more or less coincides with this yeah, here and here. And this is, uh, well, uh, uh, much more often d during uh, 2014, uh, where we see this uh, split. Uh, uh, so, well, yes, in, in the end, what, what happens here is that uh, there is a, well, a body of old signatures that weren't socially integrated with the rest of the group. And as the rest of the group migrated away from their old keys, started becoming a separate group until, well, they were cut uh, away. It seems to confirm what I initially thought. I haven't really, really uh, checked uh, each case of them, but well, it uh, seems to be so. Uh, I know that, and we will talk ab about this, uh, I mean, in the next session that uh, uh, some of us are going to be in, that's uh, like explaining bits of uh, what the key signing is and how to do it. Uh, uh, signing a key doesn't mean I trust you as a person. It just means uh, I trust that at a given point in time, the person I I'm talking with and I have somehow identified uh, holds uh, control of a given key. Uh, it's an important measure of trust for us because we don't get to meet every day. 
uh, not everybody gets to meet at a De DevConf, not everybody goes to the, every DevConf. So we, we do need this as a bit of accountability to real world threats. Um, so, uh, this, this is the only bit uh, that links our electronic activity to a physical identity. And uh, well, I hope we don't need it, but in case we, we, we needed to find who did something, that's the only way we have. Uh, so how long should this trust last? I am starting to advocate here for expiring uh, our signatures. When I sign your keys, I should do it in a way that the signature lasts for as long as I recognize your face. Uh, that, uh, of course, I don't know how, how long I will remember you, but I can sign, for example, I'm, I'm trying to start signing for three years, and probably after some time I will start uh, checking, well, uh, of the people I already uh, I, I have on this list who I still remember who they are, who are, who are not, and I can uh, renew my trust on them without uh, having to, to meet again. It's just uh, as if I were following a transition statement but signed by, by myself, right? Uh, if you see it this way. Um, so how would this look if we were to expire by default? We are not going to do this. But well, uh, we have a curatorial process. Uh, curation means, say, in a museum exhibit, an artist brings uh, a, a whole lot of, uh, uh, of uh, works, right? And uh, the museum curator says, well, I want this one here, this one here, those ones I don't want. So we do more or less the same. That's the, what curing maintainers do. Uh, from the whole available keys in the universe, well, we, uh, we form w what keyrings are meaningful to Debian. So uh, uh, what if we started expiring uh, old signatures and didn't uh, treat them as valid? We are not going to do this. Uh, do this. Uh, I mean, we talk this and uh, it's not uh, like uh, our policy and will not be, but uh, it's an exercise I'm playing, right? Um, how many people would fall of the strong or the reachable sets if we were to discard the old signatures? Or how much would the keyring uh, change, uh, change its sh uh, shape? So if we were talking six years ago uh, and expired uh, keys that were older than five years old, then, I mean, this is, this is the, the snapshot I showed you before, and this is how it would look if we were discarding. And I'm sorry, well, we don't have a better resolution here. You can see there's noise around here because those are dots. Those are dots that are no longer connected. Uh, uh, to be honest, I, I didn't get the, the exact numbers. Here you have more dots because there are more disconnected uh, people, but they are just uh, smaller, so, so we don't see them. Uh, one of the details of graph is that uh, I didn't uh, really control. Uh, but the thing is, uh, I'm, I did write down how many signatures are being expired. So here we have uh, uh, over 6,000 signatures uh, the, the, that we're no longer taking into account, right? And well, what I get from here is that the resulting sets are very similar to those sets, uh, uh, like after, uh, to what happens after uh, uh, we we had to remove uh, these keys that uh, that were smaller, thus older, right? Again, I, I know I have to do some a lot of more um, a lot more numbers on this, but uh, well, this is as far as I've uh, got. Mm -hmm. um, so, well, uh, I can later show, uh, show you, uh, whoever's interested a better resolution uh, form of this. I intend to make this all available. In, well, my talks are already in the annex, uh, but uh, the, the, the graphs are higher resolution than what I use for the PDF. Uh, so whoever's interested, please uh, uh, contact me, and I, I, I intend to pul publish this all. Uh, now, how can we ask uh, uh, GPG to, to 
to sign with an expiry uh, date. That's something that not that's not very common. It's uh, I I haven't seen this uh, advocated. Yeah, please. Oh, uh, I I I oh, please, uh, microphone. Yeah. Maybe you'll talk about it in a second, so maybe never mind. But when I looked into these features, I found there was no way for GPG to ignore the expired certifications. And I wonder if you have found a way. To ignore them? And I haven't searched for it. <laughs> uh, you, can, you can filter uh, from your. I, yeah, I want to write some scripts to help you, uh, like filter your stats and, and get the. Uh, get what needs to be refreshed, but uh, no, I, I haven't found a way to well discard uh, the, the, this information, right? So uh, GPG has an option that's ask cert expire, right? And we can uh, set it uh, well by, by hand when 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 we call the GPG binary itself, or we can set it in our GPG.conf. Just if we do remember that uh, tools such as CAF usually have a second GPG configuration. We will go into, a, in the other session, into a like brief explanation of uh, what CAF is and how does it work. Uh, remember to do it uh, from the, the, the tools you use uh, to, to generate the signatures. Okay, this I went on a, uh, on a different path just to understand uh, again uh, how this goes on and uh, there's a lot of work I have not yet finished and uh, I intend to keep uh, working on this uh, direction, right? Uh, what's this about asymmetric signatures? Well, we were talking what other things should I look for? So uh, asymmetric uh, key signing, uh, we usually meet in pairs and uh, I check your identity, you check mine, we exchange uh, uh, fingerprints, and we sign each other's keys. So, but, but it, it has happened, uh, it has happened uh, to me a couple of times in the past that I get a mail like this, right? Oh, okay, uh, my, my key was in the DevConf uh, key signing party uh, key ring, but hmm, in the end I didn't, win, uh, I didn't go to DevConf, so you didn't meet me, but you still signed my key. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it happened to me. I, I don't know. I hope nobody else ever got uh, such a mail. Uh, but uh, uh, okay, so uh, so I, I looked for how many signatures do we have that are only in one direction. Of course, th this does not mean that all of them are are result of sloppy practices. Sometimes, uh, well, I don't have a, a passport on me, and I meet with somebody. And well, I decide I, I will sign their signature, but uh, their, their fingerprint, but they they don't have to sign mine because they didn't check my identity or whatever. Uh, we don't have to have a really matched uh, group uh, as long as we have a strong set. That's enough. But I still did this. Oh, it doesn't even show. There's a blob of red on top of this. Uh, so here I graphed all, again over time uh, how how many. Uh, the red lines mean uh, signatures that are in one direction only. And, uh, well, I don't uh, have much more data than this uh, single number. I, I can tell you it, it was around 26%, and over time it has kept uh, basically constant. Uh, I, haven't, I didn't even graph it like a, uh, like a single line, but I can tell you that, well, it was 25.8% in 2010, 27.2 in 2012, 27.17 uh, in 14. Now it's at 24.36. And uh, well, it doesn't variate much. It's uh, in average 26.6. Uh, 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 and well, that, that uh, may just mean that it doesn't mean anything. But uh, th that's uh, like one of the checks I'm, uh, I'm doing. I want to play as well. I think I have here like the further ideas. Yeah, uh, there are many other things I I want to start doing with this. Again, this has, in fact, uh, you could say this this has nothing to do either with cryptography or with security or with Debian itself. I'm just taking a set of data that maps us all and try to understand what else does it map. 
what, what can I understand from it, right? Which algorithms were used, were used for signatures? Uh, because, well, that, uh, that also can say, well, I want to discard all signatures done with SHA-1, or if, if we still have any with RC-5, I doubt we do, uh, right? How many islands uh, do we or would we have uh, where we do have some change? For example, this is an island. Uh, this is the definite proof that Debian is uh, satanic. Uh, for a long time, we had this five-point uh, island <laughs> floating around. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was there for most of 2014, and well, it's gone. Uh, now it, it, we absorbed it. <laughs> uh, how many islands are there? What's their shape? Or, for example, do some, some further guess, uh, guesswork, right? Uh, what, what's the minimum degree of connectedness? For example, to, to migrate a key, to replace a key for, for any developer, we require uh, the new key to be signed by two people so we, we can avoid uh, impersonation, impersonation attacks. Two people should certify this. Uh, this key belongs to the person who previously held the other key. Uh, so what would be the minimum degree of connectedness to consider so, uh, a key or a group uh, as belonging to a strong set? Maybe we do have some uh, inner boundaries. I don't know. I don't think so, but uh, I'd like to check a bit first, right? Uh, uh, identifying main hubs say, I know that I, I am quite well connected. What happens if we uh, extract my key? Say, I, I retire, so my key is no longer in the key ring. How much does the connectedness of the key ring suffer? How many people, how many hubs would we have to remove to create a divide or things like that? Uh -huh. um, and well, whatever ideas uh, we can come up with uh, starting with this uh, set, right? Again, I, I don't know how this Besides this uh, idea I'm trying to push to, to expire our signatures, I, I'm, I'm not sure this is really contributing to Debian, but uh, rather using Debian as a source of information. But well, I'm, I'm very happy you were here interested in, in what I have uh, to say. Uh, as for uh, this uh, conference, well, this is a graph of the, uh, of the key signing party keyring we have. Uh, it doesn't say much, and again, well, uh, uh, projected on screen, uh, the resolution doesn't uh, give us uh, many features. But say we have here some floating keys. Those are most important to get signed, most important to get connected with the rest of us. Uh, who is, say, here away? This person is clearly in the, in the reachable, but, well, it's most probably in the reachable, but not in the strong uh, key, uh, set, right? Because I think you can reach here, but not back, or the other way around. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, and uh, many of you saw that uh, from this uh, from this uh, map, I I generated also a personal one, a personalized, where each person and they'll open it. Uh, well, uh, each of us. Uh, No. Well, I think I don't have it here. Well, anyway, it's uh, it's on my people Debian org thingy, uh, and I, I mailed it so uh, you can check how does the keyring look from your perspective, who is connected to you. It, uh, you can check for the post in in in, in the DevConf discuss list. I sent it recently. Uh, and well, this is a point that uh, Aníbal uh, requested me to do. I think it's uh, important. Uh, although here we cannot really check this. I'm, uh, I just sh show here how I got to this number. Uh, we're going to do, and I'm not going into details on, on this key signing party uh, that we're doing right now because it's uh, the subject of the next session uh, we, we, we will have. But uh, from this URL, I got the list of uh, participants to the uh, to the key signing party, and uh, if any of you have uh, their lucky number, first, if you don't have the lucky number, that's very bad for you because 
uh, it, it's not a, I mean, we, we will not uh, start at the same time. It's very important that before doing any key signing, you check this is the SHA-255 sum of the... And check uh, your key. Of course, of course. Check that your key matches what's on the thingy, on the uh, file, and check that this uh, uh, SHA, SHA sum matches the, the one on the, on the document itself. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and well, basically, that's, that's it for, for what I have uh, prepared. Right. So, yeah, please, uh, I have, we have some questions and we have some microphones. Yeah. I fear the questions because I don't have answers. Uh, <laughs> will it make sense to re-sign signatures? I mean, like, every like three years I will sign your signature? I, I think so, yeah. I think that if I sign your key now, but I don't see your face for the next th three years, I will let that signature expire because I will not remember you probably. But if I keep seeing you, I will sign by myself at home uh, looking who is expiring. I will see you and I will remember who you are. If I, or we can meet again for the express purpose of, uh, of key signing. So yeah, I think, uh, I mean, re-signing people who you have already signed should be done. I very much like your proposal to um, set an expiry date on signatures so they lapse if they don't get renewed. So I wonder if I should revoke all the signatures I have made and then issue new ones for people who are in that time and from now on issue time-limited ones. Um, if we lots of us followed that policy that's going to cause quite a change in the graph do you think that's a mm -hmm. sensible thing to do are we going to get ourselves into trouble by breaking lots of those links very quickly well uh, the, uh, the reality is it's very hard to know uh, i picked three years because i know my my attention span is uh, is uh, low uh, but that was the reason i did the uh, let me see if i have this here uh, No, uh, I mean, I know I wrote, uh, uh, no, but uh, yeah, I reset this, uh, no, I, I deleted it from here and it's only in my, in my main work machine. I think uh, from, uh, well, from the runs I did expiring over five year old keys that it doesn't make that much of a difference, but of course uh, uh, all of the red blob fell away, so but but those were in in the end those were uh, mia candidates so uh, it's hard uh, it's hard to know i have to play more with the information and uh, probably start using better tools to do it because i'm i'm really really doing it by hand and that doesn't scale so you said at the beginning that about uh, 200 people that lost their key hadn't uh, haven't uh, sent a new one. Mm -hmm. Do you think that means those people are missing in action? And do you think they should have their accounts uh, removed? Well, uh, I started talking with uh, we, we started talking with some of the people in uh, in, in Mia in Mia team, and uh, they w they said, well, okay. Uh, la last uh, time we 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 talked. Uh, they, they said, well, give us the, a list of people to start contacting. The thing is, there are too many people to contact. I think many of them will be missing. Many of them will be willing to retire. Many of them are not. Uh, we know of some people who have been trying to get reconnected. Uh, I would be willing to possibly make, make some concessions, but uh, uh, it's, hard to, it, it's hard to say. I, I, I say concessions and Jonathan starts looking at me different. <laughs> for, for clarity, in the meantime, just in case there's any doubt, those people who have been removed do not stop being Debian developers. Dan is not doing removals at this stage. We'll follow the normal MIA process first. Of course. Well, uh, now that you mentioned this, and uh, quickly. Uh, you have a session, five minutes. You have five a session minutes. Okay, five minutes ago. Yes, I don't know. There's why, why wasn't I interrupted? I don't, I don't know. So I'm interrupting you now. Sorry. So okay, sorry. Lucas okay, let, really let's go somewhere else. Now and you, you should go <laughs> to the other room. Sorry. Thank you very much.
<laughs> Sorry.